All right, guys, uh, today's how-to. I just figured this out. It took me forever, okay? Now, uh, this is burning a uh, music file to a CD in Windows 10. I'm going to make this as ducks and bunnies as possible. You're going to go down here in your uh, search, down here in the corner, left-hand corner. Click in that white box. This is your Cortana. Oh, well, on my PC it is. Uh, you're going to type in... Windows Media. Okay, see, and there it already came up. It's right there. Select that. Okay, now it's going to open this box over here. It automatically, it went, mine just jumped immediately to all my music, which is uh, right up here is separated by artists or categorized by artists. Here it's by albums, and here it's by genre. Okay, so now these are these are songs that you know you've either loaded into your system or you have purchased online an MP3, whatever. So now on this side over here, all right, I want to get up here close so you can see this. You've got play, burn, and sync. All right, now I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna drag over a uh, a file to one of my songs just to burn as a sample. So you're gonna grab a blank CD, you know what that is, put it in your CD uh, D drive, which is typical for most uh, PCs, it's gonna be a D drive. All right, so put that in, let it close. All right, just waiting. So I'm gonna scroll down and let's just say I want to grab a song and stick it on this disc. Um, this one is the Eurythmics. So you can grab the whole album, drag it over here. Release. Now there's the songs, all titled. Now you can also grab this. Say, for example, here's Angel. You can move that up here. Okay, you can rearrange that. Now, I really don't want um, all of these, so I can't do this and hold the camera. Hold on a second, I'm gonna pause two seconds. Okay, so just for the sake of this, I had to put the phone down for a second. Um, I highlighted all these songs except the very first one, which is Sweet Dreams. Now you're gonna right click or just hit delete and you can remove from list. Okay, so that just leaves sweet dreams. Now, the problem that I had that I could not find anywhere on the um, tutorials online, this little tiny box right here, okay? There's a little drop down right there, okay. You can designate it's a data CD or it's an audio CD, okay? Mine, for some reason, my computer was defaulting to data right there. And I burned like two or three disks and I'm going like, why the hell isn't this working? You do the drop down right there, change it to audio CD. Now it's set up to be a CD to burn or, you know, to burn and then play back in your car or a CD player, whatever. It's a music CD. So now you just go right here because you've got burn selected already. That's where you started. Then you dragged your song over here and dropped it in. And now you're going to click on start burn. Okay, now this will take about oh, a minute or so. You can hear the D drive running right now. Now, of course, if you want to drag over and burn files, like Word documents, whatever, use that little drop down right there again and change this to say data. Okay, but we're burning music, so it's going to be audio. All right, and when it's done, it will spit the CD out of the tower. Still doing it. 
still burning 99%. But when it's done, here it comes. And there it is. See? Now, I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to write the name of that song on here. And then I will have just that single song. Okay, and that was just for demonstration purposes. Um, you can grab, you know, create a list. Because you see, everybody's got a ton of different uh, artists in their files. Grab, uh, you can do the best of, you know, and use 10 different artists. Uh, create your own mix CD uh, for playback, like in the car, in the gym, whatever. Uh, otherwise, you know, normally people are using MP3 anyway. But um, you can grab your MP3 files and drag them over here and burn them to a CD if you so desire. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to click Clear List, and now it's blank. Now right here, okay, it says Burn List. You can change that. You can just highlight it like I just did. Type any name in there that you want, and that's going to be the name of your disc. All right? So I hope that helps a lot. I see a lot of complaints online that people were burning discs, and then when they put it in their car, there's no sound. Try resetting this to be sure it says audio and not data. All right? That's it. Have a great day. Bye.